Today we are testing the Avid U3 spot welder. This device is rechargeable and has a 7500 mAh lithium battery. I ordered the device with an 11000 mAh battery, but I was sent the device with smaller battery. I ordered the device from China. Returning it back to China is complicated and expensive, so I kept the device. And I got half of my money back. Let's see what this device can do. The device has a separate switch on one electrode to start welding manually. This is a very good feature and it's rare in small rechargeable devices. The device is turned on with the lower button. Surprisingly, the display is upside down, but it doesn't affect the welding itself. You can use the power button to navigate the menu. The device has many adjustable settings. I have noticed that only two settings need to be changed. The others don't really affect much. I select the manual mode, so I can trigger the weld by pressing the button. And set the gear, which means power, to the maximum of 9. We will test by welding 18650 cells with 0.50mm nickel strips. I noticed the first problem even before starting. These electrodes cannot be placed at the 90 degree angle to the strip. At a straight angle, the electrodes hit the surface too far apart. Compare how the professional device's copper electrodes automatically hit the surface at a straight angle. The welding seems to be good at first glance. Unfortunately, the negative terminal side comes off immediately. The positive terminal is slightly better, but still comes off easily. This welding is not sufficient. High currents cause resistance at the joint, heating the battery, and vibrations can open the connections. Let's try 0.50 mm nickel plated iron strip. The resistance of iron is higher, so the strip melts more easily. Unfortunately, the negative terminal still comes off easily, but the positive terminal is better attached. This welding is still not good enough. Let's try 0.1 mm nickel plated iron strip. Now the resistance is high and the battery cannot be loaded with high currents. But the strips are well attached. This quality is good. By welding several strips on top of each other, you can increase the current capacity. I do not recommend buying this device. The power is not sufficient for proper welding. If you are on a budget, get the device with a larger 11,000 mAh battery. It might work if you are welding nickel plated strips. I got this device for about $50. If you want a proper device, get a professional welder. It costs 4 to 5 times more, but the welds are 100% reliable. I got the Glitter 801D, which welds well, and I will show more of it at some point. But now I have shown what this spot welder is capable of. I hope the video was useful to you. Thank you for watching.